una cartica que yo guardo donde te escribí Que te sueñe que te quiero tanto Ese rato está en mi corazón What's going on YouTube? So I uh went to a coin show today and uh it wasn't a very big coin show it was pretty small um, I didn't expect much in the first place just because of where it was um, but I went in with my um, set amount that I was willing to spend and I ended up spending the whole amount um, which is pretty cool even because uh, I didn't expect when I walked in I didn't expect to find anything really at all um, but I found several pieces that I really liked and uh, I, I even picked up a piece that's not silver it's a, a Nazi coin or well it is a Nazi coin because it's Third Reich but uh, I thought that was pretty cool because you guys probably know already that I kind of dig the Nazi money big part of history Let's see, let's go through them. I got a 1948 un peso. A 1947 cinco pesos. A hundred pesetas. It's from Spain, 1966. Got some more Japanese money. Um, there was a one yen that was slabbed at the show but uh for some reason they had it marked for twenty five hundred dollars that i found very very ridiculous so i i, I kind of just i gave it back as fast as i could like it was burning my fingers because I, I just can't see myself paying for a piece of silver for twenty five hundred dollars Especially when I can get that same coin for a couple hundred dollars when it's not slabbed. This is the um, best coin that I got. It's a five dollar um, Bahama coin. This might be one of my favorite uh, crowns. Queen Elizabeth was looking good on this coin. Got some the uh, Netherlands coin. There's the Nazi coin. German Empire. It's a pretty old coin. I'm not. I wouldn't really buy. Have bought a smaller piece like this and the Japanese yen unless if I uh, really liked it. And uh, for being this old of a coin. For this price, I uh, I don't think I could have marked it up. Um, I mean, not marked it up, but uh, passed it up. And the same thing with the uh, the yen. Uh, I really dig Japanese money, and uh, it was pretty cheap. So picked that up as well. But other than that, I don't care for smaller smaller currency. Um, I ended up buying. Some more American 90%, uh, three Kennedys, and a Washington Quarter. Um, this table, they actually had a pretty good deal on um, Peace Dollars and Morgans, but I got there too late, and they were already sold out by the time I got there, so that kind of sucked. Um, on their Kennedys, on their half dollars, they had Walkers for, I want to say eights and then or 850 and then I think they had Franklin's for eights and then the Kennedy's were 750 and me personally I'm buying this for a stack and not collecting personally it's more of my stack wealth preservation and it was cheaper than all the others and there's way more silver content in them since they're not all rubbed down so I thought that was a pretty uh, sweet deal but uh that's everything I got at the show um 
and I'm probably going to be going to a very large coin show um, next month. Um, hopefully, I might take more than I usually take into a coin show. Probably not much more, but it will be a little bit more just in case if I find some really good deals. But uh, until then, y'all see my next video. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button for my future content. And if you hit that bell, you'll get updates or a notification of my uh, uploads. And you will uh, know right when I put the videos online. Um, go ahead, smash that like button if you haven't already. And uh, throw me some comments down below and I'll catch catch you later. Alright, later guys.